Wednesday, the 18th of January. First of January is going on and on and on. Okay, I have been to the gym. I did half an hour Queen Axe. I came in, I did a general tidy up of the house, you know, cleaning the bathrooms, tidying everything up. I'm gonna cook my Louvie today. And I'm gonna actually put it on to boil just now. Um, my black eyed beans. But before I do anything, because it's Wednesday so I've got the fridge to clean and I've got a whole load of ironing to do, I'm gonna break my fast because I am hungry. So we're gonna do the usual porridge and all of that and peanut butter and blah blah blah. I just dropped the sugar. Rico's sugar. <laughs> but it's fine. It's survived. Rico's cut back a lot on his sugar as well and he's drinking a lot of tea as opposed to a lot of coca-cola that he used to drink anyway i'm gonna make my porridge enjoy that and then we'll cook the lovey clean the fridge and do the ironing and then we're back at the gym tonight rico's just out of the office office <laughs> is that not your office oh, it's the playroom play i'm trying to rename it also i have a bag here a zara bag with these are all the things I keep in my car, but the wee bag, the organizer bag that I have, um, something spilt in it, it was, uh, uh, what do you call it? A sunblock that I had in the, in the bag, and it kinda, I don't know what happened. Anyway, so I'm washing the bag, it should be dry, I washed it yesterday, and I've just kinda put all the stuff in there just now. We'll go through it after when I'm filling it up. We'll see what I keep, it's a just in case bag that I keep in the car, but we'll go through that once I've had my porridge. Right, Lily and I, <laughs> I'm gonna start cooking up my Lily, baby, 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 my ba, 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 ba. I'm in one of those moods, I can't be bothered doing anything. <laughs> I just wanna cuddle my dog. Look at my beautiful doggy, doggy, doggy. Look at my beautiful, beautiful doggy. Right. So I'm now gonna get them, them on, <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna fill my bag. And then I'm gonna clean my fridge. And then I'm gonna iron. Now I also wanna edit. What do you wanna do? You just wanna cuddle me, do you? Oh my baby. Oh my baby! Right, I'm gonna have to put you down. She's just so cosy. I don't wanna put you down, right? I'm gonna have to put you down because I really need to get this done. Right, let's roll the sleeves. Yes, I have I have the sweatshirt on. Okay. Ooh. Right, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna empty them in my colander oh, they really did you see how much they've increased in size because they've been soaking right. so these are just out of a packet because we do not do tinned anymore we do not do tinned we just boil our own so just get the dried beans and um boil them and that's it so we need to go on for a one boil I'm just gonna get my big pot out oh who's that messaging me hold on hold on people <laughs> i just posted a story and, and it's getting a lot of reaction it's getting so much reaction so i posted a story right i'll do the bad words it says I hate when fitness influencers are in their early 20s. Listen, I was skinny and hot as dirt oh. uh, when I was 21 too. My diet was vodka, ramen and coffee and cigarettes. My workout was walking to parties drunk as dirt <laughs> in five inch heels. You don't impress me. Come back when you're 30. Oh, nearly 60. People, I'm nearly 60. I'm 57. I'm going to 
be 58 next month. I cannot even believe I have that age, but do you know what? Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that I have reached this age, and thank you, God, that I am healthy. That's what we need to remember. But I posted that on my stories, and <laughs> honestly, the messages I am getting, I actually saw it on um, Wendy, what was, what's her Instagram? Uh, Loving 50, did she change it, Wendy Loving 50? You know who I'm talking about. And, I, and it just, that just tickled me, people. It just tickled me. And it's tickling a lot of others as well because I'm getting so many messages about that. It's just things like that, I think. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of the time, we're too scared to say things and laugh about things and just, you know, without it. All this political correctness, I have to bend down because I've got my really old tripod and that's as tall as it goes. Right, what did I say I was going to do? Get my pot. <laughs> right, see I've got the bag sitting up there, ready. I'll get my big pot out. <clears throat> one pot. Put that one away. And start working. Rico's just uh, popped out to pick up some shopping. Oh, I asked him to get me a cabbage because I'm going to make that sauerkraut. Honestly, it gives me the... See all that? Touching, touching the vegetables to try and release the juices. Rico said to me, why are you even going to make that? You are not going to eat that. Uh, do you know who I blame? Right? Apart from all these doctors that I've been watching and they've all been saying how amazing it is for your gut health, Patricia <laughs> messaged me and says she makes her own. So I'm going to try it because I'm thinking if I make it myself, I'll get Rico to chop it all up. It's, it's easy. All you do is fermented cabbage, people, but it's all this ooh, mushing it all up, right, with salt to release the juices and then you squeeze it into a jar right and then so it's kind of sitting in its own brine type of thing then you leave it for about two weeks and then you eat it it's, it's not even it's, it's just this mashing of the bit I've, I've got a thing about vegetables so um i cannot touch um i can't eat fruit that somebody else has cut i just can't do it or that that somebody else has peeled. So if somebody peels a tangerine on, and an orange and hands me a piece, I can't eat it. It's one of my things. I'm sure I've told you this before, but I've got, I'm really funny about vegetables and fruit. I'm really, really, really funny about it. Anyway, it's just one of my weird things because people, we all know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> right, let's get the beans in here so Rico's away to get me cabbage put petrol in my car so he's away with my car so he's away to put petrol in and pick up a few things that we need so yeah let's fill up this remember never add salt to pulses because it keeps them hard that's that so we're just going to do a first boil empty it, reboil, and then what I'm gonna do is, once they're cooked, I'm gonna fry them in olive oil, garlic, and onion. Mm. People, yumminess. And then, if you're gonna be naughty, just heat up some bread, some sour. oh, I need to phone Rico, I don't seem to have any sourdough. I've always got sourdough in the house, I don't seem to have any sourdough. We need to get him to get some sourdough and then you dip it in the olive oil. But I'm going to avoid doing that. <laughs> get that on the boil. And it's as easy as that. Hi, you're in my dining room. So if you were sitting having dinner, <laughs> this is where you would normally find me chatting through here going, hi. <laughs> Well, normally I'd be sitting down and we could be doing everything, if truth be said. Right, my organiser. I have my Oriton pouch, which came all the way from Australia from my friend Mimi, in here. And I've just thrown things in there that I keep in my car because I am, people, 
that just in case person I always have been I always will be right I have a straw in there I have compete just in case I get a blister I have a Chanel foundation you never know I might need one okay I'm gonna separate them as I put them down as well and put them away I have a pen <laughs> ah, I, didn't mean. I have a cutlery set ah oh, which has just fallen down over that side I have an eyeliner with a two-ended eyeliner it's an Estee Lauder one blue and black so if I want to, so I was doing black on the top and then blue at the bottom job done I have I think these must be yeah Sainsbury's healthcare hay fever allergy tablets you never know and um, I have I've just replaced these because that's how I was getting the bag out because one of my instructors needed some sort of pain relief <laughs> and um, I had some in the car because I am that just in case person so i'm now replacing because i gave her the sleeve of them i have some rescue remedy comfort and reassure do you remember when i used to have a lot of anxiety so i've just put that in there now i even have sweeteners you know i would not touch these people i would never ever touch these in fact i'm not putting them back in there because i wouldn't even recommend them to anybody so i wouldn't even if somebody says i need a sweetener no it's not gonna happen but there was a time when i used to take sweeteners i have here right what are these called do you know i forgot i have these you know sometimes i've forgotten that i have my air to take my airpods to the gym and I forgot that I have these, so these are probably, so the new iPhones take that kind of thing me. And the old ones, like my computer, get the other bit, you know, the pointy bit, which is that bit there. That's how much of a just-in-case person I am. Because I have both sets in there that will work with either my laptop or my um, new phone. But there you go, there's times when I've gone, oh, I wish I bought my AirPods and forgetting that I actually have spares in this. It's good, this is a wee reminder. I even have an eyeshadow palette with a wee brush. I have a brush and a mirror, people. Brush <laughs> and a mirror. It's okay, it just clicks back. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, it's done. Um, I have lipsticks. There we go, which are like a lip glossy lipstick. I'm telling you, I have a mascara. I have a nail file. I have a toothpick. It's in a plastic cover. I have a little notebook. I even have a little Chanel perfume. That's empty. By the way, all of that fits in here, which sits at the back of my seat. I have eye solution, case for the for the blah, 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 contacts. And I have wipes in there, which have probably dried up. And I have a hand sanitizer in there, just in case, you know, there's no water. And I need to sanitize my hands before I put my contacts on and then burn my eyes with the hand sanitizer. I have a spare pair of glasses because some things probably are no prescription but something's better than nothing if something happens to my contacts i have a spare dog lead a spare dog lead i have a spare collar why i don't know but i do i have an emergency kit in here which even has like one of those plastic covers you know that adds heat honestly it's got everything in here uh look it's even got a torch don't know how many times i've needed a torch and i've not had one does this torch even work i have to get rico to check that now that it's in the house in fact i needed a torch the other night but then we've all got torches on our phones now haven't we but it's there i'm gonna get rico to check that because it's not turning on might need a battery 
and an inhaler. And is that a receipt? That must have been. Oh, that must have been for whatever. I, oh, that was when I bought my um, body the other day. Yeah, and I'm a see-through body, and I just threw all that stuff in there. So that's my just-in-case bag for the car. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, beans came to a boil, so I've emptied them again into the colander. I'm just rinsing them all off, and then put them back in the pot, give them a good rinse, and boil again. Okay, that's everything in there. So I have my pen, I have my notepad, my earphones, I have the anxiety thing, the rescue thing, and the compete in there together. Uh, glasses in here, I have the tablets, painkillers, and antihistamine. Here, I have the what do you call it inhaler. And I keep it in the box for the date and all of that. And then in here I have the first aid kit, which has, honestly, it has everything in there. Um, hair ties and a safety bin, <laughs> safety bin, a safety pin just clicked onto that bit there. I don't really put, there's a pocket in there. I haven't really, because I've just put everything in there. I might put the knife and fork in there. And then I'm just going to set Lily's lid on top of there and that's it. Oh! I left the straw out, let's get the straw put away. That's basically it. Okay, I've just done a second rinse because it was getting a bit too frothy on the top and rather than me scooping out the froth, I decided just to do another rinse. So, that's what we're doing. Rinse them again and this will be, the, I'm just going to simmer them now, I'm not going to put them on boil and then add some greens to it as well but still twirly because they're still quite um they're starting to soften but not enough right back they go right now it's time for the fridge this is what keeps me going all day people this is this is my life <laughs> Right, let's get a clean cloth, get my spray, and get my things done. Everything is cleaned and ready to go back in. Until next Wednesday. Okay, Rico is back. Let's see what goodies he's brought back with him. It'll be exactly what was on the list. Okay, here we have what Rico has bought. This is my yogurt right there. This is the extra virgin oil, which Rico says is the cheapest at Lidl. How much is it, Rico? Do you remember? No. That's not like you don't remember how much it is. Or something. Right, 350 a bottle. This is what we use for cooking mild olive oil. Um, seven pounds a litre. Seven pounds a litre. Okay, that's obviously not a litre. Um, I've lost things. Did I say mushrooms? We've got mushrooms here. We also want to try how mushrooms cook in the air fryer. So Rico's going to breadcrumb them, stuff them with feta cheese, and we're going to put them in the air fryer just to see how they work out for the Rico cooks. My tea lights that I light over there next to my mum. And beans. And I've just recently found out that Ruth has intolerance to green beans. <laughs> After all these years, I've just found that out because they were in the soup that we made the other day that she was thoroughly enjoying until she realised there was green beans in it. The cabbage for the dreaded sauerkraut. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to get Rico to do that. 
he'll chop that and blah 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 strong and peppery wild rocket which i have learned to really love wasn't a great fan of this but honestly i could eat this itself dressed in olive oil and vinegar honestly really enjoy it now organic eggs celery potatoes onions and some uh, cotton pads for moi was this all from little rico no. No? Did you go to different shops? I went yeah. to Asda first of all. All oh, right. I went to Lidl to get the oil. All oh, right, okay. Because I was passing that way. Because it's cheaper. I got that in Asda. Right, okay. These are the greens that are going into the black eyed beans. We are on the last item. That was a hefty bit of ironing, people. It's... I'm going to finish it off. I've had a couple of them out, actually. Rico's whites, that's what he calls them, his whites, his chef jacket, so we've had the trousers, the aprons, a few jackets, honestly, but I do quite often get comments on how easy I make ironing look, like these sorts of things, shirts and um, Rico's chef's jackets, people, it's two reasons. Years of experience, I brought up three sons who all wore shirts, so I've been ironing shirts for a very, very long time. Plus, I do have a powerful um, iron as well. I'll tell you a story we were talking. Did I say powerful? Yeah, a powerful iron. Did I say that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> Because I was bringing up the boys, oh, going to save the battery. I was bringing up the boys, I'll say it quickly, right? I was bringing up the boys, ironing, working, blah, 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 rushing through the ironing. I walked into the restaurant one day and um, Rico wasn't always chef, he used to be front of house. And I walked in and I looked at his shirt and the one side of his shirt was ironed and the other side of his shirt hadn't been ironed. And I looked and I'm like, Oh, I was mortified. I said, your shirt, you, 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 your one shirt. I mean, he's front of the house in the restaurant. Well, you're, what, the one side of your shirt's not ironed. He's like, oh, it's fine. So I was like, no, yeah. Oh, honestly, he went to work with one side. I'd missed, totally missed. So I've ironed the one side of the shirt, put it away in the wardrobe. Rico's taken it out, worn it, oblivious until I walked in and I was mortified. Right, I'm going to finish doing this. Oh, let me show you quickly before my battery runs out. This is my iron. It's the Power Steam Elite Morphe Richards. That's what it looks like. Okay, back to cooking now. So that's the beans. I'm just going to add in the greens now. That's the greens in. So I'll let them cook through. And that's it. Okay, I am ready to go to the gym. Thinking of doing two classes. I have had a bowl of the boiled black eyed beans with the, what's the green stuff? What did we put in? Kale. With the kale and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just wanted all the goodness that was in the water. So I'm going to leave Rico to do his thing now. I'm hoping this is olive oil in here, yeah? It certainly is. <laughs> so he's got olive oil here to fry up the onion which is going to add to the um, lovi, the black eyed beans and the um, Kale. Kale. Right. Which is absolutely, I just I just ate it as it is there. I'm I loved it. No. You're gonna add it where just on top. Oh, he's gonna put it on top. He's not gonna add it in there. You can drain it and add the onion and olive oil, but I just I, I said to Rico, just keep the goodness of that juice that's come out of the greens and yeah, that's what I've had. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything else when I come back. I'm absolutely bloated now. I know to a lot of people that doesn't look very appetising, but it's very appetising to me. Right, I better go now or I'm going to be late again this week. Right, I'm away to the gym.